Hey bestie, I'm Kenya and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining in to study the word with me. So bestie, in this video, I'll be talking about letting your light so shine. And this scripture just has been on my heart lately, so I could not wait to get it into my war binder. So I'm so glad you're here to join me. If you want to see how it turns out, stay tuned. Okay, Bessie, so before we get into the actual word breakdown, I wanted to share the sticker book from Amber Plans Her Day. Thank you so much, Amber, for sending me this and some other goodies over. I can't wait to share the rest of them with you guys. But this is the Summer Memories Volume 2 sticker book, and I'll be using it today. I love that she included some black boxes in this. I was like, yes, girl, you know we need those. And then, of course, these glittered boxes and these glittered stickers, y'all, like, they're paper, but they have a glitter like design to them. I love that. Love the quotes in this sticker book, as well as all of the summer icons. I mean, I just feel like, you know, summer is my favorite season. And so I was happy to see this. Now, you guys, I love the little ice cream trucks, but this little firefly lightning bug page just stole my heart, y'all. I love the fruits, too. I when I first saw this page I was like oh my gosh I have to use this and I have to use it for something very specific and it was just so crazy that this popped up and I, I had asked God like Lord you know what are you trying to show me like give me a word like give me something and some words that a scripture that has been like really just coming out to me has been a scripture that I've known since a child and y'all this whole thing this whole lightning bug just confirmed when I got this sticker book and opened it and I saw it I was like I have to use this I have to get this down in my war binder I feel like this is what God wants me to remember during this season and just to not get discouraged and everything so you guys I'm gonna get started and I hope that it encourages you too but I'm gonna give you the backstory on the, those the lightning bug firefly um, story that I have but first let me talk about what I'm gonna be using because you guys, I'll just get started and I won't really just kind of go into the details of what I'm doing, but you guys can actually see as I'm talking. But I did want to share with you what I'm using. So in case you want to create a page like this in your word binder, then you have the tools that I used. And so I used a Tombow marker. Um, it's a yellow one. And then I have this dot marker. I don't know if I'm going to use it for sure, but it is double sided. Both of these uh, are actually double sided. Um, but that one is in gray, the zig, no, it's not, it's not the zig dot color. It is actually Artist Law from Michaels. And then I did have a pencil and then I thought I would bring out my Pilot G2. I probably need that as well as I was slit digging for a Papermate flare pen because those are sometimes really easy to use on top of markers. And so, yeah, I thought that all of these would be what I was using. And I really wanted to stick with the yellow look because the stickers have yellow in them. And it just exemplifies the sticker itself. And so we're going to get started. All I'm going to do is just pencil out like some word art or just some hand lettering of this scripture, you guys. If you've watched any of my videos in the past, as far as when I do like do any of my scripture writing or anything like that, I always like to just do fun lettering with them. That's just one way that I like to get creative with the word of God as far as like, you know, helping me remember it and memorize them and just actually get it in my spirit. I spend a little bit of time, you know, using some action and writing it out. And this is just one way that I kind of just like to write things out. And so for this page, though, I decided to do one big scripture, like on one side of the page, and then I'm going to do my breakdown on the other side. You guys will see that later in the video. So I'm just penciling this out because you guys, I am one, not the best person at hand lettering yet. Okay. And I say yet because I am actively trying to work on my hand lettering, but you know, it's, it's like anything. You just got to practice it and I am still in the era of trying to like just perfect how I want it to look and everything. So I do depend on a little bit of a training wheel, which is with pencil. I like to pencil out what I'm going to do first. Okay, so now that I got the scripture down, I'm going to go in with this Tombow marker and do just kind of trace over what I got going on, you know. And I did go ahead and decide to put down one of these little jars because I'm going to put some fireflies all throughout this baby, you guys. Okay, so I just sped it up so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just tracing it and I'm going to make it, you know, 
pop on this page. And once I finish this, once I fill it all in, I will erase the pencil marks as much as I can. Okay, so y'all, let me get into the backstory before we talk about the scripture and just what I feel like the Lord was just placing on my heart, y'all. And my mom, growing up, my mom always, she just, she's wonderful. She instilled, you know, my love for Jesus in me. I really believe, like, she made sure that I knew the Lord, that I knew Jesus. She made sure she had me in church and everything. And one thing she always told me, ever since I was a small little girl, y'all, I'll never forget this story, was, you know, my family, we really liked to go camping. Um, when we, when I was younger, we camped a lot. Like we did camping trips as a family and my mom would always remind me of the firefly or the lightning bug. And she would tell me that, you know, you never have to question if God is real. And if you ever get to a point in life, if you just have to question that, she was like, look at the lightning bug. It's absolutely amazing. It's an amazing example of God's grace and God's creativity and his love and just, all that he is it's amazing it's an amazing example that god is real like for sure god is real this bug has like light in it you know so um when i saw these stickers i was just like i could not forget this story and you guys here lately i have been you know trying not to put my light on the back burner um, and not get discouraged. The enemy wants us to not shine, but God don't want us to put our our light under the, you know, nightstand. We need to put it up on a nightstand. It got to be like in the window so people can see it. And so that's why this verse was just, and I feel like God had been just saying this to me over and over and over for weeks and then when I saw these stickers it was just like confirmation so this is going in my war binder and the scripture says let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven and you guys another good story about this outside of just what my mom taught me and just how she always reminded me about the lightning bolt like can you remember the lightning bolt god is real okay he is real don't you lose faith in him he is real remember the lightning bolt uh one thing was when i was a little girl in church we it was a song in our like youth group that we always used to sing around this scripture just saying let your light so shine like literally we saw the scripture so that men may see your good work and glorify your father, which is in heaven. And we used to sing it as a choir. And like that song had been like in the back of my mind these last few weeks or whatever. And then when I got this book, y'all, I'm telling y'all, it was just confirming. So one thing about this story, I should say, is look to God. Like when you ask God for something, always look for him to answer. And the things that he is like just giving you a subtle repeat of, a subtle repeat, just over and over, things that just won't escape you and just won't leave you. That's normally him, you guys, speaking to us in a gentle way. He's such a great father and he loves us. He does answer us. He gives to us freely the wisdom when we ask for it. And I just feel like this is what God was saying, Kenya, don't you dull your light. Don't you give up on the things that I've called you to do. You know, on the gifts and things that I've given you, don't you dare give up. I don't care how hard it gets. I said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good work and glorify your father, which is in heaven. And God wants to be glorified. And one way that we can glorify God is by doing the things that he created us to do and created us to be, you guys. And I actually read that in a book. Uh, I want to say I read this book about two, three years ago. Um goodness i cannot remember the name of the book you guys but in the chapter it was actually talking about that one way to please god is to actually do what he called you to do be the creation that he created you to be he created us to be human he didn't want us to be perfect he would have created us to be perfect he created us as innocent and you know we had to become redeemed and to lean and depend on him he is our god and so he gave us all gifts and we've got to do that. We got to like let those gifts flourish and build upon those gifts and grow in those gifts and let God let God be glorified in our life. 
and so you guys i'm to the back page now as you can see i did write out the scripture and everything and that was matthew 5 and 16 so now i'm going to break down this scripture and it's like okay lord you want me to let my light so shine before men that you will be good that that they can see my good work and that you will be glorified but lord how do i do that <laughs> okay that's like the other thing it's like okay lord let me go deeper because you want me to be sure that i'm walking in your way i'm doing what you're calling me to do so how do i do that so here on this back page i just asked that question like how to let your light shine and i decided to pull out some of the black boxes in the book um in that sticker book just to kind of help me do this and just to keep with the color scheme because you know the whole little black and yellow vibe and i have a total of seven points there probably are more things that you can do to let your light shine but i felt like these were the seven points that were just kind of like speaking out to me and i have some scripture references to help us or well to help me during my study time to like really grasp on to what god is saying one thing about the lord is he doesn't just tell us to do something um normally in the word we can always confirm scripture with scripture if that makes sense like Normally, the scripture is just reconfirming itself all over again. If he tells you to love, normally there's another scripture on how to love and to tell you to love again and who to love. You know, that we're, we're never left like, I guess you could say, guessing in a sense on what God is telling us to do. He is not the author of confusion. And I love that about him. So now that I got my boxes down, I wanted to write out my like main points that were just kind of like, popping up to me in my head and things and then i wanted to go and look up the scriptures that kind of referenced these things just some scriptures just to remind myself of you know this is why i have to let my light shine and this is how you know so the first one is to be kind and then the second one i wrote out is to edify with love and then for the third one is to be real you guys y'all like literally i think we all know at this point in our christian walk is is kindness means something okay and then love means something and but sometimes we don't often think about how important it is to be real be authentic so that was speaking out to me another one was to pray for others like god wants us to pray like he told us to pray without ceasing and when we're showing our light praying for others is definitely a part of that and then the fourth well no the fifth one is be generous and the sixth one i wrote out was definitely to use your gift i think that is one of the most obvious ones also when it comes to like this scripture is to like use the gifts that god gave you and then the last but definitely not least in the great commission is to share christ so i wrote these out and i decided i'm gonna go ahead and add me a couple of other little like pieces of decor you know some another little jar of these fireflies and me some more little fireflies at, up top just to kind of make the page you know cute a little bit you know just a little decorative look or whatever and so i love these y'all i feel like this book i need a whole nother page of these because when i saw them i'm telling y'all i was just like oh my god i gotta use these asap and i know exactly what i need to use them for okay so let's get into the scriptures okay y'all so first up be kind the scripture that i researched and that just kind of like spoke to me was jeremiah 31 and 3 and y'all the book of jeremiah is very similar to like how i feel about isaiah like the prophets like the lord just had a lot to say just he's awesome and i just i love that so the scripture says the lord hath appeared of old unto me saying Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Now, this is another scripture that my mom used to say to me all the time. With loving kindness have I drawn thee. And it can kind of remind you of the saying of like, you know, you get more with honey than you do with vinegar. Is that, a, is that what I mean? But I guess what I'm saying is Jesus was kind, okay? God is love, okay? And he's saying with his love and kindness, that's attraction. That's, you know, drawing people to you. And when I was thinking about how to let your light shine, like sometimes I think people perceive Christians to be judgmental and mean, and they can put that on us. And that's not us, y'all. That is not us. We do not walk in that. We are not mean-spirited people. 
We are loving people and our loving kindness will draw people to not to know and love and follow Jesus. Seriously. Okay, so the next section was, of course, edify with love. So speaking in the same context, but this scripture talks about if it's from Ephesians 4 and 29. And it says, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying that it may minister grace into the hearers. And so, y'all, we have to be careful with what we speak, like, you know, and how we speak to others. And like, is what we like, we have to think about. Is what we plan to say, is it going to be for the uplifting and the good of someone? That does not mean you have to sugarcoat things. It just means that you have to be mindful of how you present things and how you share things. Um, When you're trying to do it with love, love is important. And we have to just like cover everything we do in love. Because, I mean, God is that. He is love. And then the next one was the one that I was just really talking about. Like, we don't really think about this a lot, but it's to be real. And the scripture that stuck out to me was Revelation 12 and 11. And it says, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. And us coming, uh, us overcoming by the word of our testimony, y'all, we never know what we're going through may free someone else. It is never just for us most of the time. And so when we're real about things. And that can be hard, but when we're real, like we can really, really help someone out of situations. And that itself is a lot, you guys. So don't be afraid to share your testimony. You know, I feel like we all have a story. We, God is taking us. Uh, he's helping us through things and bringing us out of things. And I feel like that freedom in that word is is what the world needs in a lot of cases. Okay, so the next scripture is pray for others, and that's James 5 and 16, and it says, Confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Prayer, 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 prayer. God told us to pray without ceasing, you guys, and we... One way we can be a light in this world is to definitely pray for others. We need to be more proactive about, like, how can I pray for you today? Like, when we're talking to people, like, put people on your prayer list. Pray for your, not just your family and friends, but pray for the world, your environment, the people that you're in connection with. God brought them across your path for a reason, okay? So, and we have to be a prayerful community amongst each other. You know, pray for your sisters and brothers in Christ. Like, prayer changes things, y'all. And God just confirmed that in the scripture, like, the effectual fervent prayers, sincerely pray before the Lord and thank him for all that he's done. It will give us, it will avail it much. Okay. It changes things. So I love, love, love that. Okay. So the next point is the, to be generous. And that is Acts 20 and 35. And it says, I have showed you all things, how that laboring you ought to support the weak. And re- and to remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said it is more blessed to give than to receive. Y'all, when we give, God told us to take care of one another. OK, like take care of the poor. OK, so to take care of the less fortunate. OK, that's letting your light shine when you give and you give from a cheerful place. That light will shine. I'm telling you, you could change someone's whole day, someone's whole like life course. You just never know what your act of kindness, your act of generosity could be doing for a person's life. And God had them come across you because he knew you would be obedient and faithful to his word. So let your light shine, y'all. Okay, and then use your gift. Okay, that is First Peter 4 and 10. God has given each of you a gift from his variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. All of us have gifts, y'all. Let's not sit on them. Use them and be persi- be consistent with them. And, you know, don't let it, don't let your gifts die. Like, show them. God is faithful to let your gifts make room for you. And he will bless us. He will bless the whole world. Like we're one body. Okay. The whole entire body will be blessed and we will draw so many people if we would just all use what we are good at, what God gave us and work together. Okay. And the last one is to share Christ. That is Matthew 28 and 19. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the father and the son and the Holy spirit. Y'all I, of course, that's the great commission. We got to share Jesus y'all. He is the only one that is able and capable to do all that we need. 
I love that, y'all. So I hope that my little study has blessed you, you guys. That's pretty much it. There's the front and the back of this page, and it might have been quick, so replay it again just in case you want to rehear some of the scriptures and things that I wrote on this page. Definitely check out my Instagram because I have a picture up of it on there and definitely in the community tab. So I want to thank you, Bessie, so much for watching. Please like this video and comment below if it blessed you, and definitely subscribe for more. And until next time, I love you. Bye.